The moisture content of soil during compaction directly impacts the achievable level of compaction. Optimal moisture levels play a significant role in soil compaction by acting as a lubricant within the soil, enabling the particles to move and slide together during the compaction process. Insufficient moisture in soil results in inadequate compaction because the particles cannot move past each other. Conversely, excessive moisture creates voids filled with water, which also prevents soil compaction. Refer to this chart to gain a better understanding of the ideal moisture levels for soil compaction. This chart indicates the soil's dry density based on its moisture content. It is also referred to soil compaction curve. Dry density is shown on the vertical axis and moisture content on the horizontal axis. As you move from left to right on the chart, the moisture content increases. The peak point of the compaction curve represents the maximum dry density and the moisture content corresponding to. It is known as the optimum moisture content. Starting from the left with a low moisture content level, as the water content increases, it fills the space around the soil particles. Water provides lubrication, which increases with increasing moisture content until the optimal moisture content level is reached. At this point, the ideal amount of lubrication is provided without water acting as a barrier to compaction. As the moisture content continues to increase beyond the optimal level, water starts to restrict compaction. After this point, water starts to replace soil particles and take up the space. And since the density of the water is much less than the density of soil solids, the overall soil density starts to decrease. One common issue that occurs during soil compaction operations is when the soil is compacted while it's too dry, or in other words, it has a moisture content much lower than the optimum. In such cases, the soil is vulnerable to swelling when moisture content increases in the future, such as after rainfall. This swelling can potentially damage any structure on the surface.